And Scott and Mary Alice, many in the film industry tonight tell me that this is so significant that this studio behind us could be the future of what Buffalo is known for moving forward. When you think of Hollywood, just about the last place that comes to mind is Buffalo. Well, you're making a mistake there. And while the lights may not be as bright, this new $50 million production facility on Niagara Street shows the two cities may have more in common than you might think. One, two, three. Tonight, Great Point Studios officially cut the ribbon on its 100,000 square foot TV and film production facility on the west side. We're going to have the best equipment here, the top technology. Anything a filmmaker wants will be right here. And announced Buffalo as its flagship location among six studios worldwide. Great Point Studios will play a major role in helping Buffalo to become one of the most sought after film destinations in the country. Yeah, I said that, in the country. We kept hearing about how great Buffalo was to make films and, and how much filmmakers love shooting here. Robert Halmy is the founder of the Hallmark Channel and current CEO of Great Point Studios. He tells me it all comes down to the money and Western New York's tax incentives that hand up to 40% of the film's budget back to the filmmaker. It really is gonna be a game changer. Incentives he believes will make it hard for filmmakers to even think about passing on Western New York. Well, uh, we did uh, Fences, Denzel and Viola. I was in Lady Bird, Greta Gerwig's first film. And something that already has major talent, like Buffalo's own Stephen McKinley Henderson buzzing. It's a joy to see this happening. You wanna to try to work here when it's open? Absolutely. Absolutely. I didn't say that. You know, to not have to use my passport, I'd be glad to sleep at home and work here. Oh, I, a joy. It would be a joy. And Great Point Studios already has its first film set to start filming here next month. It's called The Panic, and it focuses on the 1907 financial panic here in the country. And Scott and Mary Alice, this is just the start, we're told, of what many projects could be heading here. So you better get out your popcorn and get ready to start seeing <laughs> Buffalo hit the big screen a whole lot more often, guys. On your side here in the west side, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News. Yeah, it's a new era for sure. We're excited. Thank you, Andy.